Hello, Team Aries. It's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all doing well and safe wherever you are in the world. This is your love tarot reading. The way I do my readings for those of you who are new is feminine energies on one side, masculine is on the other. Okay, we all have, we everybody has feminine and masculine energies however one is more dominant than the other okay so pick whichever side you're on i'll tell you what it is as i'm going into the reading which deck is what and also i am doing extended readings so i might extend this reading for further spiritual advice on your situation okay and you can follow me down below under this video where there's a link you can click and purchase it okay so Aries let's get into your reading oh and I wanted to thank you all for your love and support Aries nation you always you're always there <laughs> um, I have a lot of Aries um, around me a lot so I know how you guys operate and it's awesome I love the energy so Let's get into a feminine energy on this side, okay? So you're you're really like this connection is really heavy on your mind. There's a lot of feelings that you have towards this person and you want things to kind of stabilize between you two, okay? So there could be it was like there was a point where things were not moving the way you wanted to. And I feel that you're being more logical when it comes to this connection and you're like, okay, we need to take this to the next level. How do we get there? Okay. And for some of you, you wanted to take like a commitment, maybe make a, take the next level of commitment. Or if there was not a solid commitment, it's like you wanted it to get there. Okay. But what I feel like here is that a lot of you are I mean, this is great because you're in your feminine energy. This is like the Empress card, which is great. I feel that some of you said something, okay? Something is coming up where um, this is intuitive. You all, I do intuitive too. It's not just the cards. Um, what I'm getting is like you said something to take it to the next level, okay? And it didn't go the way you wanted it to go. So now you're you're in your empress energy where it's like you said what you had to say and now you're you you might be holding back because the empress is on the receiving end. The empress does not try, you know, or um chase or anything like that. I feel that a lot of you are focusing on your career also, maybe building a home or moving homes or buying a property and you're in a good space when it comes to that you're focusing more on that but deep down inside this is the goddess of the moon okay and this is about you and your feelings okay so you're going between um aries or whoever's the feminine here you're going between you know focusing on your money making you know making those money moves you know focusing on your abundance but you know working hard but at the end of the day when it comes to nighttime you're really focusing on your fe feelings and subconscious because you the, you might be dreaming about this person okay they might be coming to you in your dreams and it's it's bringing out a lot of subconscious fears that you have when it comes to what this person is going to do like what is their next move okay um yeah, I, I really get you're in your feelings. You might be crying too. And there is healing going on because you're releasing a lot, okay? I know that we this is new moon energy, okay? But I feel that last full moon, okay, which was on, I think, the end of January the 30th, if I'm not mistaken, that one really kicked off your feelings and your release, this is the partnership, okay, numbers, 7-7, seven, seven, it equals 7. So you might be seeing 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven or 77. Know that that's cute, okay? This is this is about you releasing things in your your subconscious, okay? It's it's about healing. So, fem, I mean, um, masculine energy here. Masculine energy 
is going through some type of soul contract here, okay? So they might have a soul karmic contract to something else. That's what they're focusing on. And they're focusing on getting into balance. So here's the thing. I feel that this person here, um, they've been in their comfort zone for too long. Whatever that's happening in their life. So maybe they've been in their comfort zone too long with the people around them, their community, their job, their career. And they haven't focused on themselves. So it's kind of like... They're, they're out of balance. They're in a mess is what spirit is saying. And it's because they're, they've been focusing so much on others, their surroundings, their environment, and not giving to themselves, okay? This person feels like they're stuck in a prison, okay? So you might, you know, have kicked off something. I'm getting, I keep getting the last full moon, you all. So think of what happened January 30th to you, okay? Um... And something like, a, maybe it could be a new feeling feminine or something like that. And this person, it's like, it's like you want to take the next step, they're stuck, okay? They might have karmas that they're dealing with, but know that this person is not happy. And it has a lot to do with them not being on their soul path, okay? They're stuck in an old contract they've been in for too long. Whatever that contract is, it's karmic. And um, your situation is going to vary for all of you. But let's get into the tarot with the masculine energy first, which is this. Okay, guys, I just want to make sure because I know some of you are confused. Let's see. Oh, and Aries, I might go live this weekend. Okay, so make sure your notifications are all on. So you can catch my live. Those are always fun. The energy is amazing. Let's see. Yeah, I do have guts to go live. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. I just have to fit it in my schedule. Okay. So let's see. Masculine energy. Can we talk? <laughs> wow. Okay. The, I'm getting this. The masculine energy. It's like. They're not ready to talk, okay? It, it's like they're not in a good space. I just want to let you know that, okay? Um, all right. This is interesting. Ooh, justice. Okay. Wow. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so the masculine energy here, um, they're lacking the motivation, okay? So it's kind of like, this is what I want to say. You both have so much passion for one another, okay? This is not going to resonate with everyone, but you know who you are. You both have a lot of passion for one another. But right now, it's like because they're handling the situation, whatever it is, this karmic situation, maybe healing karma, um, maybe they're stuck in a situation they don't want to be stuck in, those type of things, okay? This is a general reading, keep that in mind. So, but the thing here is that they're really focusing on home, on their abundance, or maybe building a home for themselves, okay? Um, this does not mean literally, okay? But it could be for some of you. The thing here is that this person, it's like they know that they're not, they know what they have to do, okay? We got the justice card here. Like I said, karmic mm -hmm. contract, okay? They know what they have to do. They know that they're supposed to, whatever they're supposed to do, I feel like for a lot of them, they don't know how to do it, okay? But this person knows that they need to get their life together and, um, They've realized that things have been really unfair in their life, but regardless, you're their wish fulfillment, okay? They they are so happy with you. You both have a great time together. Your time is amazing together. It's like fireworks when you're both together is what I'm getting, 
when it has to do with the good times. So this is a connection where it's like the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows, okay? And now it's like, the thing here is that it's very intense, this connection. So it's it needs to come into balance and how should I say it? It's like, it's very extreme, okay? So you all, I hope you all get what I'm saying. It's very extreme. So like, it's like when it's good, it's amazing, right? Because it's all fireworks. When it's not good, it's like this person might have just, you know, like took a step back is what I'm getting, okay? Feminine energy. We got this deck, sorry, this deck. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Okay. All right. So this is what I'm feeling here. You also, you both are not happy. I just want to let you know. You both are not happy that you're not together. Both of you. Okay. So whatever it looks like on the outside is not what's going on on the inside. Both of you are thinking about one another um, in different ways, but you both are not happy that something just stopped. Maybe you all are taking some type of a break because you, you, see, you see a future with this person, feminine, okay? You see a future, you see you know, um, possible commitment, marriage, family, mixing families, depending on what your situation is here. And I do feel that some of you are, you know, grieving. Okay. So it could be, you know, you're, you're crying, whatever, because you're just like, we have such a good connection together and I don't want it to go to a waste, you know, we shouldn't let this go to a waste, okay? And here, you you don't want to let this go. You don't want to let this go, okay? You want to be balanced. You want a smoother road ahead. You want you don't want to close the door on this because it means a lot to you, okay? And so does this person. You both are unhappy together. I mean, unhappy apart, okay? So it's really about balance. Let's see. Masculine energy. Let's see. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. So this is what I feel. This person could have rejected you. Okay. The masculine. This person could have rejected you, okay? Um, but what I'm seeing here is because they don't want to fight with you, okay? So this is um, this is about them deciding that they're, they might not be reaching out to you right now, Aries or feminine, okay? The masculine wants things. They don't want to fight with you, okay? And I feel like there's other things getting their attention right now. There could be disagreements in whatever situation they're in, possibly a conflict, fighting, but most of all, I'm getting they're not, maybe you reached out to them, maybe you offered them something and they turned it down, but I feel like it's because they need to cool off. Things need to cool off. Like I said, there's a lot of passion between you two and passion can sometimes be very extreme in, in a negative way, okay? Not all passion is great, you know? I, I know you both have great passion together, but I think that it's time to cool off now, and that's why this person is holding back, because they have things that, you know, I don't feel like this person is lying to you or anything like that. I just feel that they're... I feel like they're kind of scared, you know? I feel like they're kind of scared, even though they're holding on to it. They're holding on to you, okay? Look at how sad this person looks, okay? It doesn't matter if they're female or male. They're holding on to you, okay? Let's see. Masculine. Okay. 
Yeah, they're wounded. Okay, this person's got their guards up. Wounded. Ooh. Hold on. Wow, shut up. This is crazy. I don't know, like, I don't know what was said, okay, between you two, but this person has their guards up. They're really tired. There's a lot of things and chaos that they have to deal with is what I'm getting here. And, you know, they could have their guards up at this time just to protect themselves, I feel, because they're going through a very rough time. But there is definitely love here. And there's commitment. I do feel like this person is devoted to you regardless. There is some type of devotion this person has for you. And there's love here. Okay. And that's what I'm getting. So this is what I'm getting. Okay. This is the overall thing that this person. It's and your connection together. It's beautiful because this is like. Like I'm telling you, you have a soul contract with this person. They could be your twin flame, okay? A soulmate, call it what you will. The thing here is that both of you, when it comes to emotions and expressing it, there's a lack here. And this situation is so intense, Aries. It's like the energy of it is is very intense. And what I'm getting here, it's, it's like when it's great, like I said, it's fireworks, okay? It's like fireworks are going off between you two. It's so beautiful, okay? This is a very soulful connection. But when it's not great, when it's at the lowest, okay, it's kind of like wildfire. So both of you have a very intense fire energy, okay, is what I'm getting. So that that's why things can get explosive between you two, okay? Things can be explosive between you two. And that's why this person knows better and they pulled back their energy. And what I'm getting here is when it comes to you two, you know that things can get crazy between you two. And this has a lot to do with emotions, okay? And some of you are just thinking, like, why is, you know... Like I said, emotions. You all have issues with expressing emotions when it comes down to emotions. So you all can have a great time together, you know, passion. It's there, happy, fun, you know, laughing together, um, you know, sharing drinks together, like stuff like that. It's like it's beautiful. But when it comes to emotions and expressing yourself, you both kind of lock up and it's because you both express things in a different way, okay? So I'm going to see if I'm going to extend this reading, you all. Hold on. Because this, this is a really nice connection. I mean, like, yes. Okay. Look at that. The temperance card. Okay, this is about... A soulful connection that's being healed at this time. So I do feel like you both are apart, but it's order for some healing and some learning. Okay, because this person also has a lot to learn from the karmic contract that they have. Okay, so spirit is with this person. Okay, and this has a lot to do with old love too. So keep that in mind. This person could be jaded from another connection. They could be holding on to, you know, breakups or whatever that happened a long time ago. This is also about forgiveness and bringing new love energy. So keep that in mind, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading because Spirit is asking for patience. This is temperance card. And this is also patience because I feel like things are you know, um, there, this person is going through a healing process and so are you feminine. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading for, for further spiritual advice on what to do about the situation. What's this masculine's next moves, what you can do to make it better. If you resonate with this, you can follow me down below this video 
And I hope that this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to like, subscribe if you already have not. Aries, I wish you all my best and take care. Peace out.